start the first topic for this session. In this topic, we'll be seeing what is actually working capital all about. Now we see the two types of capital for a company. One is fixed capital, other is working capital. Now what is fixed capital? Fixed capital is used for the long-term investment of the business. For example, purchase of permanent assets like building, machinery, land. It consists of non expenses which are non-curring in nature. We talk about capital expenditure mostly. In working capital, we talk about that capital which is required for the day-to-day -day working of a business concern. For example, payment to creditors, salary paid to employees, purchase of raw materials. In working capital, we talk about those expenses which are recurring in nature, which are revenue in nature. Now, it can also be considered that cash is very important element. Now, when we talk about liquidity overhead working capital, we talk about those assets which can be easily converted into cash, which are highly liquid in nature. Right? Similarly, the working capital is also called a short term capital. So, our working capital management is all a focus on working capital point of view. So, it's very important whether we have funds for day to day activities or not. The classic example is SpiceJet. This is what happened to SpiceJet in 2014. By the when the annual report was declared after March, it was very clear the company has a problem for liquidity point of view. It means they do not have sufficient cash balances, do not have sufficient funds. And if you remember by July, August last year, company declared the sale fares and all. If you remember, the, there were eight tickets available for 1500 one way with taxes, right? 199 nine with taxes. Why Spicer came up with these offers all of a sudden and 15th August time it was a very big thing right the full newspaper was filled as Spice has come with a sale fare as such see Spice at that time had a problem where they didn't have pay actually expenses to meet the day-to-day -day working as well if you remember the salary was not paid to employees for months at a stretch right Similarly, SpyJet knew when we sell A tickets, we sell them on cash, we don't sell them on credit. So if you know, we come up with sale fares, everyone is going to buy and give us cash at one shot. And that cash can be used for the liquidity and day-to-day -day working of a company. But still the sale fare was not so, you can say, beneficial for the company. By November, December 2014, actually passengers were actually got affected. By November, December, if you remember, flights were getting cancelled. Passengers were stranded at the airports. Why? The company didn't have fuel to run an aircraft as well. It came a point of time when the government asked the company to go back home, come with a reconstruction plan. Right? And the reconstruction plan was like, everyone was like, Spyjet will have the same story like a Kingfisher Airlines had. Kingfisher had the same story. Why? Because they were not able to meet their day-to-day -day expenses. That's why when you talk about long stories, you want to buy a company, you want to merge, you want to take over, you want to go globally, it's fine. But are you able to meet your day-to-day -to -day operations as well? This is why working capital is so important. In working capital, we focus on two aspects. That is, in your balance sheet, what is short-term in nature? If you go to the asset side, what do you find? Asset sites, you have fixed assets, you have investments, you have current assets. You go to liability side, what do you find? Capital, long-term loans and advances, you find current liabilities. Now, in this assets and liabilities, what is short-term in nature? Your current assets and current liabilities, right? And this is what working capital focuses on. Working capital focuses on current assets and current liabilities. These current assets and current liabilities which are related to our day-to-day -day nature as such. So different people came with different definitions of working capital. One definition of working capital you can see the sum of the current asset is the working capital of a business. We have one more definition working capital refers to a firm's investment in short-term assets, cash, short-term securities, account receivables and inventories. These definitions actually focus more on current assets. That's why we have two concepts of working capital. We have a gross working capital concept and net working capital concept. Gross working capital concept is simply called the total current assets of a company. If we have total current assets of a company are huge, it means company is financially sound. But they have a net working capital concept says that what is working capital? Difference between your current assets and current liabilities. See how are current liabilities mean? Current liabilities are paid from the current assets, right? So, are we able to meet the current liabilities and still have surplus money at the end? This is what working capital is all about. We focus more on net working capital concept. See, after we have paid off our current liabilities as well, is there sufficient funds left at the end? Remember over here we talk about liquidity decisions. What are liquidity decisions? Any current asset which can be easily converted into cash. Like your cash in hand, cash in bank already. 
लें सिमिलर यू एनी मार्केटेबल सिक्योरिटी विच यू हैव विच कैन बी इजिली कन्वर्टेड इन टू कैश ओवर यू टॉक अबाउट द लिक्विडिटी डिसीजन ऑफ अ कंपनी तो वाई वी आर टीचिंग यू वर्किंग कैपिटल मैनेजमेंट एंड वर्किंग कैपिटल डिसीजन मेकिंग इज वाई we know now current liabilities are to be made from current assets but this difference should not be very huge or very small very huge difference means a company has lot of excess working capital less means company has inefficient working capital company is not able to meet the day to day funds surplus is bad similarly less is also bad so how do we find out the sufficient amount of working capital this is what a matter of subject now and this is what we are going to focus on working capital but in short what is working capital when your current liabilities are made from current assets in short net working capital is current assets minus current liability